How to freeze blackberries. Delicious, delectable blackberries are one of summertime's sweetest treats. However, because their natural growing season is so short, it's tricky if not impossible, to get good blackberries throughout the rest of the year. Make the most of your summer harvest, freezer your blackberries when they're at the ripest to ensure you've got great tasting fruit all year round. See step 1 below to get started. Freezing unsweetened blackberries. Wash the berries gently. When you've picked or bought a selection of ripe, juicy blackberries, give them a gentle but thorough washing. Pour the berries into a colander and run cool water over them while you gently shake them or sift through them with your fingers. Allow to drain well and gently pat dry with a soft towel to remove excess moisture. As you wash and dry your berries, take the opportunity to remove any rotten, underripe, or damaged berries. You'll also want to remove any leaf litter, dirt, or other debris. Spread the blackberries on a baking tray. Line a metal pan or tray with parchment paper and spread your blackberries out on it so that none are touching each other. Do not forget the parchment paper, without it, the berries will freeze to the pan and can break up when you try to remove them. If you have too many blackberries to give each their own space on your baking tray, it's alright to simply pour them all over the tray. However, if you want separate, individual blackberries later, you'll have to break up the frozen block of berries that you'll get from this method. If you've got lots of berries that you want to keep separate, an even better idea is to lay down a second layer of parchment paper over the top of your first layer of berries to double your working space. Place the blackberries into the freezer. Set your tray on a level surface in your freezer so that your berries don't roll to one side of the tray and allow your berries to freeze completely. You may want to leave your blackberries in the freezer overnight to ensure that they're completely frozen through. If you do this, don't forget about them, left uncovered in the freezer, berries can easily develop freezer burn within a few days. Transfer berries into a freezer-proof bag. When your berries are frozen solid, pour them into a plastic freezer bag. Squeeze as much air as you can out of the bag, then seal it and return it to the freezer. The thicker the plastic and the less air in the bag, the better, thin bags and air pockets can both contribute to freezer burn. If you own a vacuum sealing device, like, for instance, the food saver, use it here to remove the air from your bag for the absolute best possible protection against freezer burn. Alternatively, if you're not worried about your berries freezing together, you can skip the baking sheet altogether and simply place the washed and dried berries into a freezer bag directly. If you do this, the berries will freeze together into a large block, which can hurt their visual presentation, but shouldn't affect their taste. Freeze for up to six months. Berries frozen this way are good for at least six months, though some sources recommend using them up to eight months after the date of freezing. As a general rule, you shouldn't thaw berries before using them in baking recipes, as this can throw off their moisture content. 3. For more information on using frozen berries, see the corresponding section below.